Beach, pastor at Encounter Church, Trevor Hyde. Hi, Trevor. Hey, how's it going, man? Good, welcome back. Thank you. Nice good to, to see be you. Back. Yeah, good to see you. I always like to check in, and I haven't seen you at all during the pandemic. So how, how's the mm -hmm. church, how's your, uh, how's your mission uh, been during the pandemic? It's, it's doing good, man. Um, we didn't slow down at all, so we've got like just tons of exciting things to talk about. I'm really excited to talk about them. Yeah, we, we're, uh, we're just doing building projects. We're doing all kinds of events. We're just trying to be here for the community in every way possible. Oh, I know a lot of what you do is involves, uh, you know, being in a room with a lot of people. Sure. We couldn't do that for a while. Yeah, yeah. it's true. You had to get creative in all kinds of ways with that, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, we made videos, did all kinds of stuff online for that, and then spaced out our facility for Sunday mornings and used our balcony more and things like that. But now it's kind of getting a little bit back to normal feel, you know? Yeah, I think so. we're all feeling that too. Yeah. So uh, things are back on, so let's take a look. First of all, uh, you brought some photos. Let's, let's see what you've been up to. For sure. Now these part of your, because um, you've had some parties, you've had some things for kids. Mm -hmm. This is part of our kids camp. So we've got our kids camp coming up. Um, the first half of the last week of June. So it's the 27th, 28th, 29th of June. And this one's gonna be very cool because we just got our new arcade in our building. So we invested in one of our rooms and made it into a full all out uh, free to the community arcade. You gotta be the only church in town with an arcade. It's awesome, we're super <laughs> excited about it. Yeah, it's free to the community to use um, during our office hours. So the theme of our kids camp this year is arcade. It's an arcade theme. Um, one of our classes is going to be just using the arcade with board games. Um, as you can see there, archery is one of the classes. Here's one on our driver's training so kids get to drive around in golf carts, things like that with a, obviously a chaperone. That's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> so we got like RC classes. We've got uh, uh, an escape room this year. We've got a science class, a ninja class, a bakery class, a Lego class all kinds of stuff to engage kids. So they go home ready to nap for the rest of the day. <laughs> so just fun things to engage children. Um, and registration actually launched the first of this month. So registration, if you go to our social medias, you'll see like a brush fire thing for registration and we're ready to rock and roll with it, man. It's gonna be exciting. Now, is it um, more attractive to a kid to go to uh, arcade at a kids camp or a vacation Bible school? I don't know, I guess that's up to the parent. <laughs> Is this we, basically what vacation Bible school was? Yeah, it's, it's honestly, it's more of a modernized vacation Bible school. Um, so we actually, for our main speakers, we booked um, Lexi Heiler, our uh, children's director, she booked these Christian illusionists. So they're gonna be the speakers. It's Dave and Tisha um, La Laughlin, I believe. And they just tour around the nation and they bring a godly message through illusions. Um, we're gonna have a, a band do songs and stuff for our main rallies. So um, it's gonna be really fun. We're really excited. <laughs> All right, you brought um, a picture of a huge space. And I, I, I've been in your church a few times, you know, mm -hmm. I can, but I can't picture this space. Yep. Is this yeah. new? That's a brand brand spanking new renovation of a wing in our in our building. So uh, that room got utilized so much that um, I mean it was used. The carpet was all stained. Uh, this is the vision. This image right here is the vision. So we're turning it into a community center. That that picture you just saw is phase one. That's going to be complete here in April, 100%. We did new floors. We put in classrooms. Um, the classrooms are all going to have a glass wall so that we can host things for like children to do stuff so parents can still see their kids in those classrooms. Um, parents, if they want, can do work in those classrooms and see their children because we're going to put in a playscape in there, American Ninja Warrior playscape. Um, yep, there's the design. We've already got that approved. So that um, playscape in um, kind of a renovation of our kitchen to make it a, a commercial cafe is gonna be done hopefully by the fall is what we're shooting for. So the playscape, the cafe, the rooms are gonna be free for the community Monday through Saturday during office hours and then Friday and Saturday we're having new hours for it. Um, people can book their birthday parties there for totally for free. Um, 
and we're just going to have a cafe where we're going to try to partner with local vendors and have them come in for certain days and just kind of have their business run the cafe, things like that. So we're opening up this wing um, and we're super excited for it. It's going to be just a place we've noticed that single motherhood is rising in our community mm -hmm. um, and we've just noticed that this is a heavy need. So we would desire it to be free to our community and we want to pour in our community in this way and provide it for free. So we've renovated it so that we can utilize it and anybody and everybody can come in and use that. Yeah, so. I recognize some of those uh, obstacles from American Ninja Warrior. Yeah, yeah, we try to do one that's within our ceiling height and to fit within the space that we have. We're gonna have a space for crawlers as well. So a baby space that's more of a foam floor and foam objects they can play with and stuff. Uh, I think uh, you're going to be very busy. It's going to be very popular. We're really excited for it. I know you had a big block party last year. Are you going to do that again this year? Yes. This is going to be fun. We're coming up on this May 21st. So we're doing all the same things we did last year. So we're just repeating it, um, pushing it harder, and hoping to have um, even more people come out. Um, so we're, we've already got a bounce house. Uh, it's an inflatable obstacle course. We're planning on purchasing so we can use repeatedly for our church events for things like kids camp. Um, so we got bounce houses for children, face painting, um, all kinds of things for kids. Then we have our big trucks with sirens and all that good stuff for children, um, free food, vendor trucks, a cornhole tournament. Um, it's going to be good, man. <laughs> we're really excited for it. So what do your own kids think about all of these? Oh. oh man, they're super excited. <laughs> like I have a, a one year old and then my oldest is five. So they love our arcade. Our arcade is already open in our, for our community and our church and they eat it up. We've got like a Ninja Turtle game. We've got um, a Marvel game. We've got NBA, Pac-Man, Frogger. It's like the whole spectrum. So like um, they eat it up and then they're, they're just excited to see things. Kids camp is only for first through sixth grade. Um, but we, as a pastor, I can let them hover around and have fun anyways. I, I help out with it. So they love all that stuff, and it's super good stuff. So Well, it sounds like, Brandon, you have a new place you can take Barrett. Yeah, he'd love it. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome, yeah. That's awesome. Had you ever, did you yourself, done anything like American Ninja Warrior? Have I ever tried it? Yeah. Not really, as far as skateboarding goes. Well, Trevor's a, a world-class uh, skateboard. Uh, I do professional skateboarding yeah. and stuff, yeah. Demos and all that, and... Not the same skills, but, you know, I could see... As American Ninja Warrior, yeah, not quite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know how to jump off things and grind stuff, you know. It but. looks... I think it looks harder every year. They <laughs> make it... They, they do, don't they? Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I mean, the, the level of progression for everything goes up. You yeah. know what I mean? Everything. And the children and their athletic ability as children are growing, you know, like, it's wild. How about attendance at your church? I, I know a few pastors that are uh, disappointed that people have, haven't come back. Sure. Have you experienced that too? Sure, yeah. I mean, I think that there's that, that, that safety thing, you know, where you, you just some people don't feel comfortable. But we've seen, we've seen the majority return back in person. Mm -hmm. um, I think if everybody were to show up on a random Sunday, we'd probably have 350 to 400 right now. Currently, we've been seeing about 300 on a Sunday morning. It's pretty cool. Um, we still are doing like our big give, like we always have. We never slowed down with that. Like big give is our quarterly time where like quarterly, we ask our congregation to give above and beyond benevolence and food pantry fund above and beyond their tithe, specifically so that we can raise funds to pour back into the community, local businesses, families in need, people who don't go to our church that we see have a need, um, we financially give to them. So this last year we did about a did about a, a hundred grand where oh, we poured wow. into our community through that. That's great. Um, we just believe that's the mission, man. We want to bless others and show them the kindness of Christ. So we have a great community to do that for. And so that's what we want to be here for. The Encounter Church, Encounter Church located at uh, 620 Robinson Road yeah. in Jackson. For sure. Thanks, for Trevor. Thank you, man. Thanks for having me. Trevor Hyde is the uh, outreach pastor at Encounter Church. And that's it. We're all out of time. Thanks to Trevor and everybody with us here today. Tomorrow on The Morning Show, Antoine Breedlove, Breedlove from uh, Jackson College, and we'll be uh, introducing a new twice monthly segment on location with Experience Jackson, Experiencing Jackson.